welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. It's day two, and I'm now joined by Davar Ardalan, who used to work on this amazing NPR radio program in the, in the US, which of course you can still get everywhere. But she has a lot of other exciting projects she's working on now. You're doing a seminar here, a workshop. Take it away. Thank you so much. Yes, our startup is called iVow, and it stands for Voices of Wisdom, and a vow to help the future generation of stories to be culturally conscious. Uh, we're here with a team of AI uh, pioneering storytellers and experts to really talk about whether storytelling can help build capacity in AI systems. So as you know, many AI systems are struggling with different cultural contexts, and can stories help machines build cultural IQ? You mentioned Persian because I think you have a Iranian background, so explain that. Yes, absolutely. So one of the things we're going to be demonstrating is we've taken an ancient text, the Shahnameh, written by 10th century poet Ferdowsi. We have fed it to current AI models and from that understood where the weaknesses are in the AI model when it comes to certain cultural contexts, developed our own model as a way to prove that different ethnic groups should really step up to the plate, find digitized ancient texts and help generate and bring more uh, cultural IQ and capacity to current AI models. Who's participating in your workshop? Who's coming along to take part in this? Absolutely. So we have uh, storytellers from Tonga and Fiji who've come here. We have an AI scientist from Mexico City who has designed a computer that generates text from the Aztec folklore. We also have Victor Yarlit, who is from the Crow Native American tribe of Montana, and he has proven that the MIT Genesis story system uh, can understand his Crow culture just by feeding it 100 pieces of data. So I think you're trying to get across that that you know, AI is great, but it's socially and culturally inept? Uh, well, exactly, but also we're all building AI solutions. It's the biggest market right now, whether it's chatbots or Internet of Things. But imagine if those future AI solutions that were built were more authentic and culturally relevant to you, so that you, if you had a health app that was telling you about you know, how to monitor your health, it actually would be more uh, relevant to your cultural history or for, to your cultural context. And I think that um, AI systems need to become a two-way street. They have to be culturally relevant. This is really prevalent in the United States. Uh, the growing population are Hispanic Americans, largest demographic, and Google and Nielsen have done surveys that show that Hispanic Americans will buy products that culturally speak to them. I feel like this is also something that is very big in terms of the global emerging markets. If more companies want to reach them, if they have more AI that's culturally sensitive and culturally conscious, it's just going to make for better products. What I found interesting is that you're actually doing this as a for-profit, or yes. you're not looking for private. You're not looking for NGO funding or OGN funding. No, absolutely, because I think the uh, next step, like the last year, many in the AI community for re good reason have been focusing on ethics and privacy issues. And I think this year, 2019, 2020, is gonna emerge when we're gonna say, okay, how are we gonna now find solutions that are going to invite the global public to be part of this narrative and not scared of AI? Because many in the media hype AI about it's gonna take over your jobs, robots are gonna do this and that. But what if robots are going to help share your cultural story? What if you could opt in to allow machines of the future to know you better? Finally, we're in day two now. What would be your hope at the end of this week that you would have achieved? Um, I think it's really just to uh, make sure that more people are aware that uh, global narratives need to be included in AI systems, but for the purpose of creating um, really cool products that speak to the global public, we're here at a United Nations event, and so it's really important for government agencies to also think about creating cultural engines that capture the narrative of their nations. Okay, well that was Davar Ardalan. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you.